What's going on, everybody? I am B Swift, and today we are going to talk through some things, and we're going to talk about some important things, and that is successful renting. And I have Connie with me today, and you've heard me talk about INHP all over the radio before. And matter of fact, Connie, how are you? And can you tell me a little bit about what INHP does? Absolutely. Uh, thank you for having me here today to talk about the classes that we have and the things that we do here at INHP. Uh, INHP is just the Indianapolis Neighborhood Housing Partnership. And our goal is to help people remove any barriers that may stand between them and home ownership. When we think about our mission or when I tell you what our mission is, it's just that we want to increase affordable and sustainable home ownership opportunities for individuals and families. And so all that we do is just try to make sure people understand their options around home ownership and around lending. Now, when it comes to home ownership, INHP helps people understand that and go through this by educating classes and advising. Could you explain your role at INHP and what you do to help people? Yeah, um, I've been here at INHP for a little over 10 years now, and I'm one of many of the HUD and that's housing and urban development uh, certified housing counselors. And so what we do is we can sit down with individuals for up to 24 months and help them to just remove those barriers that stand between them and home ownership. So it could be things like savings, it could be things like budgeting, it could be just managing their money or understanding how finances work. And I do that in addition to, I train INHP's uh, home ownership and education classes. So our dollars and cents class is one of my favorite classes, but we also have successful renting, we have understanding credit. So we do a number of things just to help people understand those finances. Oh, and that's dope right there. Now you've helped a lot of people understand and, and what it takes to be a homeowner. Um, and sometimes being a homeowner is the right decision for some people. And sometimes people decide, you know what? I'm not really ready to make that step just yet. I thought I was, but I'm not there. Um, can we talk a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, many people feel that home ownership is the American dream. Uh, everybody wants a house, or at least that's what people think, that everybody wants a house. But home ownership is not for everybody. And we recognize that at INHP. And we also respect that here at INHP. Um, home ownership is a personal decision. So if you're ready for it, we're here to help. If you're not ready for it, then we try to help make that individual or that family successful renters. And, and that makes a lot of sense. So let's talk about renting. One of the classes you teach is, is called successful renting. Mm -hmm. To be a successful renter, what are some of the things that people need to know? So what we usually tell people is in order to be a successful renter, try to treat the property that you're leasing or you're renting as if you, the same way you would treat a piece of property that was your own. So we start out telling people, uh, read through your lease, make sure you understand what you can do and make sure you understand what you can't, cannot do. And sometimes that can get tricky because the lease language is a little different, you know, and security deposits and rental insurance. So do you help and explain the reasons why, you know, there is a security deposit and things you should look for or reasons why you need rental insurance? Absolutely. So in the successful renting class that we teach, we do touch on those issues where people can learn a little bit about what a security deposit is. How do they go about being able to get it back? Things like their guest policy, because sometimes when you're renting um, and you're paying a certain amount of money for that particular unit that you're in, you feel like, hey, you can do whatever you want to do while you're in that unit. But in truth, um, you have uh, responsibilities that go along with being a renter. And so you have to adhere to what that lease has dictated you can or maybe cannot do. OK. And, and, and does this also include sometimes like the maintenance and upkeep versus neglect? Because, you know, you see some people be like, that's not my responsibility. I'm not doing it. And it's like it might be if you read, you know. Absolutely. And you do need to read through that lease so that you can understand what you are responsible for. Um, there is a difference between maintenance and neglect or abuse. And if you are in a unit 
where you are not taking care of things that are under your level of responsibility. Like, for example, if you have an individual who allows their children to put to uh, paper towels down the toilet, you know that that's going to clog up a toilet. That's not a maintenance issue. That's a neglect issue or an abuse issue. And that makes sense. And, and, and I'm glad we, we're getting to talk about these type of things because this is stuff that people might not know or need to know. And it really sounds like we're just scratching the surface, uh, getting into being a successful renter. And I, I want to know more. People want to know more. And where do they go to get that information about more? So definitely, I will always direct people to go to our INHP website, which is INHP. Dot org, and they can go and they'll find a wealth of knowledge on that website. We talk about our classes, we talk about our programs, and a, and a number of other things that they can find out about INHP through going through our website. And listen, people, I love the INHP.org website. I, I talk about it all the time, not only just to talk about it, but I'm a frequent visitor to the website to, to get different things, different information and about classes. And it's a very easy website to navigate through. Um, so you'll find what you need and just stand on the topic. Just know renting is a solid foundation, especially if you're considering that next step, which is uh, owning a home. And what message do you want to leave the people out there about being a successful renter before we get out? Um, I like to tell people that um, you can be a successful renter and again, those skill sets from renting do transfer nicely into home ownership. Definitely make sure you're reading through that lease. If you don't understand what you're reading, uh, seek an expert for help or advice. Uh, INHP is always here to help. They can always reach out to us at our website. Again, it's www.inhp.org. Listen, check the website out. It's amazing. The staff over there is amazing. And they're here to help you uh, with multiple things that you can use to help with. So, again, Miss Connie, thank you for tuning in and, and tapping in with me today and giving out some very important information. Thank you. No problem. Again, INHP.org. We appreciate you guys for tuning in today.